We are back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to how we can make a login system using Google. So here we have the Laravel 8. I have already installed in my system. So I all I will explain you step by step how we can create a login system using Gmail. So friends, here are some steps you can check out from here. Uh, we have the overview. We will discuss about how the so slide package is working, and also, first of all, uh, you need to create a login uh, Laravel 8 in your system, and also hope so you know how to configure your database. And once uh, you need to also install the JetStream, we will check out the how we uh, install the JetStream, and also I'm using here the so slide package in Laravel. It already have in Laravel basically have the source light package so we can use the source light package also and why the source light package is important because we have already package system so we don't need to write a lot of code as compared to any other um, in any other uh, framework something okay so now uh, so slide package I will explain you how this is working and what kind of uh, login system we can use using so slide so also we can create a Twitter Facebook and also we can get google something so such kind of uh, show, social uh, social light package are here so we can use uh, some kind of functionalities in laravel okay so now i uh, hope so this is clear and how to create a app for authentication so friends i am going to show you my credential how i have created here so let uh, look here we have the google cloud platform here and you need to go the uh, api services which is provided by the google and also you need to create a project kind of thing so once you created the project unit you get the client id and secret id like this one okay so once you get the secret id you need to put here authorize javascript origin suppose if you have the um, website and using so you need to put here the your domain here also if you want to redirect somewhere like google callback functions then you need to put here the uh, or redirect url so this is the important things while you creating the api in uh, google so keep in mind so don't forget to put here the url and don't forget also redirect url so once you put it here the re uh, redirect url what you need to do here just keep your id secret id and client id something we have the secret client id and we have the client id here so don't forget to copy and paste something so where you need to put i will explain you step by step everything so now we are here so you need to put your code inside the config services.php also once you put it the uh, configuration so once we install the user we have the already user table so inside the user table we need to put uh, one more column which is a google underscore id uh, basically we will put this id okay so we can alter the something okay so we can create a migration and we can also alter using migration so we will uh, check out how this is working okay now also you need to create a model so we have already model which is a user model okay so inside the user model because we are using the jet stream package something so also we can write a code uh, similar like this one okay i will explain you how we have written the code okay so now also you need to create a, a uh, you need to create a, a route how this is working from the how we can call the controller and function something so we we need to think about also if you don't know how to create a route something how routes calling controller and function something so first of all you you need to watch my video i have already updated in my uh, youtube channel how to install laravel how we can make a route how we can call a function something so everything i have covered already so i have co uh, completed complete series okay so if you want to uh, check out complete series just go to my youtube channel and uh, let me show you real programmer just type in youtube and just click here and you can check out here I have already uploaded which is the uh, laravel 8 tutorial in hindi and laravel 8 tutorial so friends you can watch from here okay so now i'm going to close it, close it also if you have not subscribed the channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel so definitely this is really helpful for me also 
and let me show you here so once you created the model then you need to create a route we have the discussed also you need to create a model if you don't know how to create a model route something so please watch my previous video also we will discuss about how we can update the view part and also you need to run a server let me show you so friends i have already written a blog so i am going to show you how the state this is working so look this is our home page which is the welcome page let me uh, call the login system and here we have the email id and we have the password we don't need to put here because we are using login with google let me click on this particular real programmer gmail id so look we get the dashboard and inside the dashboard we have the profile look this is get name from the my google account you can put your password whatever you want password you can also uh, to factor authentication if you want you can put from the google authenticator microsoft authenticator so you can use here okay and also api tokens team management so such kind of things functionality in jetstream if you want to use like this one you can also use okay so next video i will also create a how to create a crude operation in jetstream if you want this video please put your comment video, uh, below also if you have any kind of issue friends please your comment to your comment section definitely i will try to make another video also i have multiple project in laravel if you want a multiple project uh, definitely i can share with you but you need to put your comment below also i have the uh, some script like uh, if you want like this uh, add shopping cart uh, such uh, such kind of functionality I, I have already word on the different version if you want in laravel 8 so please comment in comment section definitely i will make a separate video for this also okay so now i am going to show you how this is working so here we have the discuss about the how to create a laravel this is a command you can use the you can use this command and you can install the laravel 8 in your system also you need to put the configuration setting inside of the dot env which configuration setting you need to put database configuration so once you have successfully configured your database what you need to do you need to install jetstream package so this is the command basically guys you can use this command composer requires laravel jetstream once you successfully also install this package what you need to do also if you want the jstream with live wire you can write this particular command okay so now so slide package also you aware about if you don't know what is the source slide package basically friends if you want to log create a login system like a google uh, lo login with google facebook twitter github something you can use a source slide package i will also create a separate video about the source slide package okay so once you have successfully installed the source light package what you need to do you need to install the node package okay so here the node package basically a node you can install and you can run second command so once you uh, done successfully this command what you need to do already i explained you you need to create a api authenticator so you can check out from here this is the step how i have created so i have written everything about here so once you have a successfully created what you need to do you need to go inside the config service.php you need to put code like this so let me show you how i have updated let me show you here we have the google api is here also we have to put it in configuration service.php i have put it login system like we have the client id we have the secret id also we are redirecting where you want if you have the your url so you can put here your url also you want to put your url also don't forget to write here like here okay suppose you have facebook.com something so you need to put here okay whatever url you have so you can put here suppose here and here whatever and redirection purpose whatever where wherever you want you want to redirect something so you can put here the callback something so now let me scroll down also we have the user table and inside of the user table i want add one column so we uh, have one column which name is google underscore id so we have to put it google underscore id in, uh, how to first once we created the migration i have written the for the alter alter so we can make a, a one alter we can uh, add up something even alter so i have put it this particular migration inside of the migration so once you migrated that uh, then one column will go directly inside of your user table okay which is a google underscore id then again scroll down so you need to put one more uh, command here google migrate something so php artisan uh, migrate command so you need to run 
and then scroll down here also we have the user model inside the user model we have the factory factories and also namespace by default and we have using authentications purpose so we have the uh, we are using this one and also the some notifications by default provided by and here we have the two factor authentications which are 45 something so here we have this one and we are using jet stream so we need to put here the profile photos basically we're getting and also the has api token something so this kind of functionality we are going to make is this okay so now i have added one more uh, field which is the google underscore id and scroll down this is by default which is provided with the jet stream and here we have the uh, uh we need to create a route so hope so you understand how to uh, routes working in laravel if you don't know how to routes working La laravel 8 so you need to watch my previous video i have already uploaded so guys uh, also if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe first of first of all and then we will discuss about the step by step everything okay now we have the route so route why this is important because whenever you want to call your controller and functions this is a very important things okay so inside of the routes we have created the inside the routes we have the created inside of the routes we have the already created how to call a function something okay we have the controller we have the function so now we can use like this one so friends we have the welcome page inside the welcome page we have uh, login and register link inside the welcome page let me show you i'm going to show you look we have the register and uh, register and login system so i'm going to click on the login and here we have the login login with gmail google is both same, same 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 things okay so just click on whatever email id don't use my so you can put your email id and also let me show you look we have the api profile and team setting creating something so such kind of functionality i am going to show you you can put like this one okay now uh, once you have successfully added like then what you need to do we have the get method we are using get method here so basically we calling the controller functions we have the controller also which is a google controller and once you put it the google controller don't forget to use these lines of code why in laravel 8 whenever you want to call your controller and function don't forget to use namespace in ever part whatever area you want to put something so this is the important thing in laravel 8 so inside of web.php we have added the controller and function something we calling because of functions so then if anyone hitting something in auth google something when calling the redirect function i will show you how this is important for us okay so we have uh, let me show you http controller and google google uh, controller inside the google controller we have the already seen we have the redirect to google and here we are using the source light package we have already here uh, using as a using namespace something then driver we have the google and we did redirecting here okay so once we have handle request something is just redirecting basically let me show you redirect and google redirect something let me where is my routes let me open the routes also maybe this is really help for you and once the uh, route is basically working then we calling the callback functions the second one and then we are handling the direct callback so let me uh, open the my controller where is my controller okay so we have the handle google callback and we are using try functions here and try cache something so we we are using try cache function so let me show you we have the driver and if you are finding the user authenticator is the first something then what did you do, need to do here we are redirecting to dashboard directly okay we are using authentication logins everything is fine then we are redirecting direct dashboard inside of dashboard also if anyone have don't id something so what we getting here we are creating a new separate id we get the e name email google id password something i have added it the dummy data okay so whatever password you want to you can put here so i have an encryption format i have added like dummy data something like this one and after that we did a redirect in dashboard okay so we are using your catch exceptions also and we're getting the message here so this is the way to create a login system friends and uh, let me show you here we have the dashboard something here and inside of the view part also i have updated something so if session is something like this one we can check the status and uh, okay so this is a form basically in the login if anybody hitting login something and also i have added let me show you 
this one this line support i have added so basically why because we have the image for the login system and we this image we are using inside the anchor tab because if anyone hitting the uh, clicking on this we get uh, passing this method okay so we, this particular urls so we can do that like this one so everything is fine for our friends and also um, i have good things for you and if you have difficulties to uh, uh, check from here so you can also check out from my github repository let me show you you can check from my github repository with the google login in laravel 8 so friends also you can get the code and also i have written in readme files everything step by step guys might be really this is help for you if you have any doubt related to this video and this blog please put your comment below also definitely i will try to make another video and also please friends follow me in github also every day or i will try to upload new series so you get the benefit using laravel coding nighter python node.js django these are my skills guys whatever you want you can put your comment below definitely i will make a video for you thank you for watching this video